الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد This benefit insha'Allah ta'ala is going to be from Shaykh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah's Majmu' The 10th volume, page 363 Shaykh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah here in this benefit is going to tell us What is the prophetic path? So one needs to really understand that if he is upon the path that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was upon. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah says, مَنْ بَنَى الْكَلَامَ فِي الْعِلْمِ الْأُصُولِ وَالْفُرُوعِ عَلَى الْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ وَالْآثَارِ الْمَأْثُورَةِ عَنِ السَّابِقِينَ فَقَدْ أَصَابَ طَرِيقَ النُّبُوَّةِ Ibn Taymiyyah says, Anybody who builds his speech in matters of knowledge, he builds it whether it's a fundamental issue of knowledge or whether it's a sub-branch. Doesn't matter. Anyone who builds any speech of his, a academic knowledge-based, he builds it upon what? Al-Kitabi wa Sunnah. He builds it upon the Kitab. He builds it upon the Sunnah. He builds it upon the texts, the statements that are transmitted to us from the pious predecessors. Ibn Taymiyyah said, فَقَدْ أَصَابَ طَرِيقُ النُّبُوَّةِ That person has achieved, has fallen onto the path of the Prophet. So you speak, whether you're talking about مسائل which are usul, fundamental issues of the religion, or you're talking about sub-branches. If you base that on the Kitab, and the Sunnah, and the Atharu السَّابِقِينَ And you base it on the texts that are transmitted to us, from the Sahabas and the students of the Sahabas and the students and the students of the Sahabas, then what you have done now is you are treading on the path of the Prophet. That's knowledge. What about ibadat now? Ibn Taymiyyah said, وَكَذَلِكَ مَنْ بَنَى الْإِرَادَةُ وَالْعِبَادَةُ And also, anyone who builds his objectives and his intentions and his worship وَالْعَمَلِ and his actions وَالسَّمَاعِ and his hearing الْمُتَعَلِّقُ بِأُصُولِ الْأَعْمَالِ وَفُرُوعِهَا That which is connected to the fundamental actions or the sub-branches. Again, anybody who builds his irada, what he wants, ibadah, his amal, his sama' the things that he hears, if he bases it all, whether it be a fundamental act or whether it be sub-branches, he builds it all upon what? The previously mentioned thing, على الكتاب والسنة وآثار السابقين. ها من الأحوال القلبية. Whether those things are the situations of the heart, والأعمال البدنية. Whether they are actions of the limbs. على الإيمان والسنة والهدي الذي كان عليه محمد. He builds it upon what? The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is the Sunnah, the guidance in which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was upon. And that which the companions, the Sahabas, then this person, فَقَدْ أَصَابَ طَرِيقُ النُّبُوَّةِ has then again taken the path of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم وَهَذِهِ الطَّرِيقُ وَهَذِهِ الطَّرِيقُ وَأَيْمَةِ الْهُدَى And this is the path of the Muslim scholars who are guided. Pay attention now. If you base your knowledge, if you're speaking about issue, you're saying it's halal or haram, whether that issue is a fundamental issue, whether that's a sub-branch, مسائل فرعية, فقه, مسائل pertaining to that, or the, whether it's مسائل اعتقاد, if you base it on the kitab and the sunnah, and the salaf al-salih, what they were upon, then you are upon the Prophet's path. If you also build your iradah, what you want, if you build your ibadat, your actions, the worships that you do, whether you build your actions that you do, whether you, whether it's fundamental or sub-branches, does that matter? Also, if you build the situations of your heart, the things that soften your heart, and the raqaiq, and the, whether it be the actions of your limbs, everything on your situation, if you base it upon al-iman, the belief of Allah, 
was sunnah and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is sunnah. Wal hadhi alladhi kana alayhi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the guidance that the Prophet was upon. Wa ashabuhu and his companions. Faqad asaba tariqun nubuwati. Then you are on the prophetic path and you're also upon tariqu a'immatil huda. You are on the path of Imam Malik. You are upon the path of Abu Hanifa, Shafi'i, Ahmed, al Layth ibn Sa'ad, Al-Bukhari, Muslim, Abi Dawood, Tirmidhi, Ibn Maj, al Nasai, all of the Aimmat al Huda, the rightly guided scholars. So it's important, my beloved brothers and sisters, that every moment of our lives, every chance that we get, we're a step closer to death, and we're a step closer to meeting Allah wa Taala. The last thing that we would ever want is to die not being on the path of the Prophet We sweated so much, we struggled so much, we put in so much hard work and effort, but we come the day of judgment and Allah Taala He doesn't give us anything from it. And we don't get anything of it. And it gets rejected in our face. That's the last thing that we need because we don't have no, we have no other chance anymore. This is the only chance that we had. So we need to understand that it is not the quantity of acts that you come with, it is the quality. Allah doesn't want from you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to come with every act of obedience because He knows you can't. But what Allah wa ta'ala wants from you is to be one who does it, who does it in accordance to how He legislated it. And to be upon that prophetic path. I ask Allah wa ta'ala that he makes us from those people who are upon that prophetic path. Subhanakallahumma bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa tubulay.